I was getting messages from my friends saying, TJ's been talking a lot of trash in his R34 series. Maybe I need to bring my car up here because you're talking all this shit. Mic time, baby. We Check were, it out. We were gonna, wait, 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 before, forget him. You need to talk drinking into it. Drinking water, have an you, HBS you, need, you need to talk into the mic. Oh, drinking out of an like this. You're like this. You're like, you need to be talking into the mic for them to hear. Yeah. We were going to film a like sit down interview style thing and we're running out of time, baby, because man, oh man, this is it's our last day here. We you sad? I, I am. Actually, I'm like, oh. Uh, we're, we're, we're leaving tomorrow. It's kind of weird. This last trip was the largest trip. We've been here. This is our eighth day here. A person where English is their first language would say longest, <laughs> not largest. But it's, our, it's our largest trip here. <laughs> it was big. Today's a day. By the time you guys are watching this, a certain someone has already uploaded the video. <laughs> because that's just how he operates. He doesn't wait. Adam and I are going to be racing our 34s today. This is all I want to say. Because it hasn't happened yet, but... Tommy and I have played out the scenarios. It's a win-lose for me. It's a win-win for Adam. Our car's not dialed. We've had the car running for three days. I've maybe driven it for a, a, a total time of maybe three hours. Adam's had his car for a few years. So this race, if we win, I'll be stoked. If we lose, I'll be like, ah, I wish our car was like where it was supposed to be. Let me interject. Look at where my mic is. <laughs> this isn't the do or die. Like, in my opinion, when me and Adam had our 32 versus Evo 5 race, it was literally an entire summer of like changes and races, changes and races. We don't know if they're gonna get that opportunity. So while they're together, we have to send it for you guys. And that doesn't mean that's the final straw. In my opinion, if TJ keeps going, things change, the cars get back no, together. No, let me interject. Okay, I'm sorry, Wrench. Because our car wasn't built for straight line. Our car was built for back roads. Adam's car is geared up with larger turbos. He also has to flat foot shift so his car doesn't fall out of boost. So we added an ignition switch on his clutch. We have none of that. We're a purist in our most raw form because that's how we do out here. But Adam's also my boy and Who's I love him. Damn. Damn. I got that. Dirt. I feel like Bob Barker. I got that. I don't know who that is. Price is wrong, bitch. Bob Barker. Ron Burgundy? Yeah, he's right. Everything he just said, I agree with. I was just saying that car's not built for a straight line. It isn't. This car was built for back roads. And if we're going to be comparing the two types of racing, there's straight and there's back roads or track. Adams, if you were to argue, is more set up for straight line other than his gearing. It, but it, the way his turbo is set up. You would never flat foot shift in any other scenario but a drag race. I suggested they do a race without that. But Adam... And he admitted it, Teej, you're on the mic still? He did, he did He admit doesn't it. think, I don't want to say he doesn't think he would win, but his advantage is there, and I guess he wants to take his advantage. So, with that all being said, we've talked too much about that race that's maybe going to happen, maybe not going to happen. Oh, Jesus. No, we didn't. Oh, you got that, more? That's a bad looking mustache. I'm going to hold that knot right there. I think we could win. But I think he will win, is what I'll say. We'll he, see how it, we'll see how he spins it. We know LZ. This is the guy, we're talking about the guy who went into my lap, my computer, into my ECU, and lowered my boost to beat me in a race. There's no fair racing with this dude. And and me and him are just so goddamn competitive. So it <laughs> fucking so irks funny. me that if he walks away today with a win, he's gonna be like, oh, you overspent on your GTR and you still lost. But again, we didn't build it for that. We're not done. Some of our stuff still isn't working. And we just, are, we're still tuning it. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But while we're here, while Tommy's here, before we leave, this is this is really what, what I wanna I say. I love how he turns his back to the camera and walks away. Yeah, you know what? This is what, this is what I wanna say. You stay where you are. This is what I wanna say. If you own a Nissan or any JDM turd, there is no other place that you should go to other than this place right here. We appreciate the kind words. Look at this damn wall tell me another place you're gonna go and you're like oh i want to rebuild my skyline and they're gonna have all the pieces necessary to make it exactly how it should be but this is what i will tell you if you're like oh i wanted i really want to get a really big oversized turbo on an rb26 and i want to make a thousand horsepower i won't do it do i'll not literally come. tell you no i've said no many times do not come because it's gonna say no this shop and as a customer what they do the best is they bring they make these cars the best that these cars can be should be should be we keep the original Original essence, but we up it because to be fair, and I'll say it, unpopular opinion, these cars suck. Stock? 
Yeah, they for suck. sure. Why do you think I tried to keep my Mark IV stock and was like, this sucks? You have to build them with the modern technology and have the spirit of the 90s. Oh, I say modern, not everything's modern, but if you don't buff them up to be competitive with today's modern market, they suck. Just, there's no way about that. Well, one thing I want to add, you're going to see the, the results of that tonight because I'm going to be the chase car in a 2013 Turbo S and maybe I'm going to drive through the back of the two of them or maybe they're going to leave me in the dust. I think, we're, I think they're going to be dead even with us. Well, I, that'd be cool. Leaving in the dust, I don't think but so. But that's that's quite an accomplishment, I'd say, for a 1999 Nissan. For sure. And it still has great drivability. It carries all of those amazing attributes that maybe not the 997. That's obviously a lot nicer and has better drivability, but I don't know. It's still great. But I just want to say, you guys got that one video to like 50,000 likes. I promised an R33. How foolish of me. Can I'm you tell them the real story? Just a little, just a tidbit. Or can I? Yeah, I'll tell them, I'll tell them enough. Tommy has an R33 for sale. It's a great deal. If one of you buys it, I'm going to kill you because it's supposed to be mine. And I was like, ooh, I'd love to buy that car and do a build with it here and have my own ideas with it. And Tommy was like, ooh, rather than buying it, why don't you trade me your S14? And we went back and forth. Oh, you're going deep. Well, anyways, I said no. Because now I want them in that purple to live, to live together for at least a little bit as a happy couple. And then he forgot he said all that. The likes got up, and now he has to stick to his word. That's no, the... I'm going to double down, uh -oh. baby. You guys are... He's buying two R33s. That's what doubling down means. I'll buy one R33 for me and one R33 for you. Oh. And I'll give it away. But this video, oh. 75,000 likes. Bitch. Yo, <laughs> you better name it IB Adam LZ just to get the people in the door to click that if you want that to happen because 75,000 likes a tall order. I don't know. I think they can do it. I, maybe I, should, I, might, I might raise it. Don't quote me on that because I was crossing my fingers the whole time. But we'll see. Uh, but but seriously, the only way to get a hold of Tommy is to email him, which I don't even know where his email is. I'll but give it's, you it. It's, well, the email's on my face. Tommy, that's actually where the oh, okay. that's actually where the email is. But you can also DM him. And if you want to DM him, it's on my hand. It's it actually lives here. This is where my hand is. It's it's tattooed, and I would actually like it to leave. So we'll work on that when we get back home. This place has literally exceeded. I don't want to say exceeded because I knew what I was gonna get, and I got exactly what I expected. I love it. It's good. I'm I'm coming back for more. I thought about bringing my Mark IV here. That'd be sick. But that's a different story. RB swap, right? I was thinking Barra. Not here. Bring it to LZ. <laughs> Not a Barra. Not a Barra. All right, so Adam's going to get back. We'll chat with him. And if you liked this style of vlogging, let us know because it's been a lot of fun to, to do. We normally don't do this. I don't know why we ended up doing this, but... It got weird. Still holding the wrench. <laughs> I kind of I, I kinda like it. When Adam gets here, maybe we'll hand him or maybe Ooh. we'll just hand him a mic and put him on the spot. But we're going to go do some runs. We're going to see how the old baby holds up. Our car, I don't think we said this, our car makes less horsepower than Adam's. Period. Probably about like 50 or 60 Turbo, horsepower. The turbos don't flow the same, but because of that, that is the exact reason Adam needs a flat foot shift. For anyone that doesn't understand turbos, that is the trade-off. The bigger you go, the more they suck in the parts that you spend the most time, which is in between gears, lugging around, slow speed, and you know, they fuck on the highway, which we're going to see, but the, yeah. this setup is the setup. This is a torque curve and an R35 GTR full bolt-ons on ethanol. It's drivable it's torquey it can get out of its own Whoa, way that would be a cool video it, you race a bolt on 35. 35 maybe not even bolt on stock for stock no, you'll beat a bolt on 35. this would probably beat well think about a bolt on 35 it's 100 that horsepower more than a than a stock one so that might help for the dct versus manual but this is gonna be a really cool way to like send off because this is the last time we're gonna see it before we ship this car home and get to have it on the california streets so what better way to send her off than with a friendly race boys you hear that? The clock is ticking. We're running out of time. We need to get this M4 finished up. Don't worry, I'm not sweating because the boys over here, although they might not be dressed up in this fashionable watch wear that we're wearing here. And speaking of time, I've been cooking up something special with movement. Something that I've been dreaming of with them is coming very, very soon. But if you don't know who I'm talking about, Movement has been one of our channel partners, our longest lasting channel partners for the last eight to nine years. They make everything from men's watches, female watches, jewelry for men and females. And if that's not enough, they also make eyewear like sunglasses and my personal favorite, the blue light glasses that help filter out the blue light from our screens and our phones because people like myself are getting damaged eyes because I'm staring at the damn screen all day. If that sounds of interest to you, be sure to check them out and use my code on screen to save yourself 15% off of everything, movement, or just click the links down below. Time is ticking. I'm gonna get back to the M4. Enjoy the rest of this video where I smack Adam. Let's get back to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. LZ, you gotta hold the mic. All right, predictions. 
For what? Biggest race of your life. Already happened. No, I'm not talking about when you beat Dean. I'm talking about when you lose to me. An RTR vehicle will win! Holy oh! cow! This is child's play. I couldn't come up with anything quick enough. Damn it. This is part of the game. Adam won. Some of us are quick. Mm -hmm. Others of us are slow. Me zero. Mm -hmm. No flat foot shifting. No flat foot, no flat foot shifting. <laughs> Sounds like your car's not even together right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think flat foot shifting is the only problem we got going on, buddy. <laughs> He's choking. Now I'm just, are you ready? My car's running. It's clean. <laughs> It has all four wheels under power. How are you How are you sitting? I only got power under two, and um, it's not ready yet. Yeah, I can see. Underdog. On paper, my car should be faster. Knowing your car, knowing your turbo setup, knowing that you have 0.2 liters of extra displacement on me, your car may tie me if I don't flat foot shift. I think that I have a chance at being as fast. Only because I have the gearing, you're gonna be shifting. This is true. I hope we have the opportunity to do a few different styles. Maybe we do one race where Adam has a leg up on me. Maybe we do one that's certain speed, or maybe my car. This is a California more. thing, style racing. Yeah, mm. yeah. We're doing, we're not doing this the Florida way. So just to elaborate, my car, its biggest weakness and the thing that I hate about it the most, transient turbo lag is real. When I shift, the car goes into complete vacuum and it like is slow to build boost. In gear, it's fine, but each shift, it's like the, the exhaust housings aren't sized properly or the timing of my motor's off. It's always been that way. I've just never cared to fix it. Each shift, it's just, it's like I go back down to NA power and then it ramps back up. So you'll have an advantage there. Well, I know that I'll be able to stay in boost, but he's gonna be flat foot shifting. So he'll be able to stay out of that. I also miss gears a lot. Well, if we miss gears, we'll go again. I want this to be like both of us. Like, I want to see the cars do the race, not necessarily us. So if there's a human error, we'll do it again. Okay. Well, I hope I hope we literally do so many times we're like, okay, we're done. That's what I'm hoping Or the cars for. blow up. Or that too. Mine's not going to. FES spec. I hope not. Maybe a coupler though. I have FES FES spec GTR too. No, you don't. I, yeah, you, you do, not this one. Yeah. But in all seriousness. Have you seen under the hood of this? I think I think it's this thing is FES spec plus. Mm, somebody says, let's see it. You can You can judge it. Mm -hmm. There's some things I would change, but looking at this car, not having touched it in a very long... Oh, oh. fingerprints, brother. Oh, he's got the mine strut bar. You know, and it's just it's just the little details. Like, my oil filter isn't located in sight. You know, my lines for my catch can are beautiful. I've, look at my fittings on my catch can, Teach. Okay, this is what I will say. I actually haven't seen this bay in a long time. The bay is very beautiful. Thanks. It's very different than what we did. It could be better. There are things that I would change, but overall, like, I'm very happy with it. I'm trying to absorb this. I like that you were able to keep this. Is that even, is that, it is hooked up? It's my overflow. I know I don't have an overflow yeah. right now. Right now it's a water bottle. It's just nice because it's like tucked up in the stock place. I'm really stoked about this. This was my idea. I like designed this catch can out of cardboard and then send it to a friend and it came out sick. I like the setup. It's very clean. Thanks. Very similar, but different. Also, e-fans which was not on purpose, but it cleans it up a lot. Yeah, it does clean it up a lot. That does a lot. I, I'm not sold on if I love them or hate them. What, E-Fans? No, the, the shroud cover. Yeah, I, I, I feel you on that, I I'm, agree. I don't have one yet, and I'm like, mm, I don't know if I really want one or need one. The funny thing is I think there was like a, a run in my clear or something on the radiator support that drove me nuts. And then you're like, screw it. Well, no, and then you don't see it with this. I know, so you can get that and put it on top. I'm trying to find something that I would change and there's really not, nothing that sticks out. I like the hood props. I don't like those. That's one of the things I would change. Why? I hate when things aren't real carbon and they're just like, oh, like wrapped in carbon. You know? I wasn't really paying attention to that, but yeah. I know. Now the whole world knows. Bask in my insecurities, internet. Why does holding a mic make me talk so different? Because it feels professional. It does. We did it with Tommy just like five minutes ago, and we had a lot of fun with it. We so should see, like, we should see what he rolling. would change. He's usually got a big mouth on him. I know what he's going to say. I'll tell you. What? He's going to say that you have, <clears throat> and I quote, American-made junk in your engine bay. That's what he'll say. American. And he'll yeah. say that it's Australian-influenced and not supporting the real cause. That's what nah, he's going to if it was Australian-influenced, I'd have a single, and this thing would be a... RB30. This is very not Australian. That's what he'll say. What's American made in here? I don't know. I, he said those words today. I think he means like Johan making all of this. Mm, that's just his, like... his way of expressing his insecurities about not having a fabricator in a shop. It's true. We did have to send my radiator to Jimmy. Spoon had to do it. It's, I mean, it's cool that he builds cars with bolt-on parts, but also fabrication is sick. Moving on. <laughs> okay, but I do want to say, in all seriousness, Adam and I talk a lot of shit back and forth over Instagram. I do it for fun. Adam does it for real. Adam's an asshole. Bullshit. He does it for real. <laughs> this is and, not true. And I do that for our friendship. I just, I'm his punching bag. Not true. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. My, I might joking. I remind you where this all started? I was getting messages from my friends saying, hey dude, TJ has been talking a lot of trash in his R34 series. Have you been watching any videos? I was like, nah, I'm busy. I watch Whistling Diesel, but not TJ. I thought, you know, maybe I need to bring my car up here because you're talking all this shit. 
You know, I have not had a thing to say about your R34, and I've seen it for the past two years. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I, okay, well, those friends must be fake fucking friends. Because they're looking out for me? No, because that's Do not your friends look out true. for you? Because that's They're letting you enter into a race that you're going to lose. Not true. But I didn't sign up to be a fast line car. I just happened to be as well. The way that we built mine is very different than the, the way, way that Tommy built yours. Is. Yeah. Okay. Is you said we. Is there is there a mouse in your pocket? You said we. Like like the R32. They did. Yeah. 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 Tommy built that. Yeah. We didn't build it. Actually, I did come here and did wrench on it. So. Did you? I have video of it. Flashback mm -hmm. to the footage. Told you. <laughs> I stand corrected. We built them differently. Mm. Where mine shines is the parts that we have on it, but that's just parts. What's cool about mine is. There's no couplers to pop off. So when you pop your couplers, can't happen to me. It happened one time. You've been driving this car for three days. I have three hours behind it. I've been driving this car three years and haven't popped a coupler. You've been driving this car for three years and then you tuned it up before coming here to squeeze more juice out of it. That's a, it's, a, it's a tired lemon and you just milked it for all of it has. A tired lemon? Yeah, you were squeezing whose the Whose car works right now and whose car doesn't? I'll go fuck. It's done, I think. Are you guys done? They're Anytime I try to compliment him, he just shuts it down. So we're just, we'll just we'll end it. When did you compliment me? Well, I was getting to it, but I, you stopped me before I could get to I've it. I've just been backing up all the shit you've been talking. Not true. Can you put crickets over over that? <laughs> no, I think they can hear the crickets yeah, in the back. Actual crickets. All right. Well, good luck. Here it is. You're gonna need it. I will need it. We're the underdog. All right. What's film for you? Your your budget. R34 build, underdog. If I wanted to build a thousand horsepower, I would have. And then it wouldn't have been a fair race. Do you want to build a car that had a thousand horsepower? Yeah. You said build a thousand horsepower. Yeah, if we were going to build a, a thousand horsepower car, mm, then okay. we would have. All right. But we didn't. Nor did I. So what's your point? Well, you're saying, <laughs> oh, you overspent on the GTR. Did I say that? Off camera, he You just say an underdog. If he, well, be, underdog uh, power-wise, drive-line-wise. I was just, I was just saying it's a real nice budget build you got going on there. What's budget about that build? Exactly. Underdog. Power wise, it's the underdog. Mr. 2.8. That's just low end, and we're not even going to be utilizing that for this. Is it just low end? Is that how engines work? Yeah. More displacement only makes more power down low? Not when the turbos are restricting the power to begin with. Smart man. Smart man. I'll give him that one. We're going to be going to the race now. We're, we're cutting this fucking clip. We're done here. <laughs>
dude. Dude, I my GoPro only got like half of them, but like I did every. I hope Anthony, you were filming I all of them. I was filming every run. Cause I got every with every the lead. I gave them the jump. I gave. Uh, I like we did second gear, third gear. Yo, that was it's so fun to watch, bro. You, Tommy said they were both like like shooting flames like crazy. T uh, Adam, Adam's car shot a fucking twelve foot flame out of the back of it. Yeah, it almost. I lit my eyebrows on fire. <laughs> well, good thing you were ahead of him. I need a conclusion. Oh, I didn't say this in your video yet. I think TJ's car is faster than we thought. Love I it. think it's faster than mine. However, I think if you had a passenger in your car and if I didn't have my shifting issue, which just to shortly elaborate for you guys with flat shifting, the way it works, it's the amount of time, the way that I have it set up, that it cuts ignition. I doubled it for absolutely no reason. So I would shift and then it would take like 0.1 second to resume power, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it feels really slow and it would still fall to boost. I feel if that was set up to how you wanted it. It is now, I think and, so already. Okay. We're gonna try to do it again on the way home. It just started pouring, so we'll see how it goes. They, I think you'll they still would, win, but I think it's gonna be way closer. I think they'll be neck and neck. Yeah. I think they'll be super close. I, I don't know, the 2.8 helped more than, than I think I thought it would. I didn't think it was really gonna matter because we were gonna be already like 5,000 and up. Well, I think especially too, because of the gearing, and because like the gearing definitely helps. If I had the you're making more I think power realistically earlier. it's the aerodynamics of the Z tune front end that really did on this. Maybe one. you gotta go Z tune. Not all <laughs> jokes aside though, we did so many fing pulls. Your IATs are probably a lot better than mine with all the vents in the hood. <laughs> we did like maybe pulls. Maybe with with two hundred and fifty cars behind you? I it is a complete big, success. We need one of these. Definitely a complete success. Definitely a big dub. That's a big dub. I think it's a big dub. Because there was a lot of shit talking from both sides. So if there wasn't and it was like humble, like, we don't know. It's like, cool, you won, shake. But he talks shit, he talks shit. You have to rub it in the other person's face. I have. You have to. Well, he's saying you know what I mean? the shift will fix, he wants to fix the shift. It doesn't matter. That's not how races work when you do 13. If, if, if you do 13 races, there's no, oh, I got to get we back did, into my ECU. Because, like, I gave him the jump. I the gave streets. Him the the streets, you get Sonic, Sonic, you know, Chase is a race, anything goes, you miss shift, it doesn't matter if you stop at the line, if you jump, it's a win, but I think we saw true success, a I true agree. win, I agree. in my opinion. I agree. I mean, yeah, he could fix things, and you could retune things. The car has been running for three days. Yeah. 200 this is miles, like, 300 miles, maybe. And the tune probably still could be dialed more. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, that's the other thing. If you change one thing between a race, you might as well, like, you have to start over. You can't just be like, oh, let me go to my laptop. Like, yeah. unless you both agree something's bad and you both go back. If you're happy with yours and he's not happy with his, he took the L. He's going to have to eat that until he comes back and you agree to come back. What a sweet way to it was good. end it the was Connecticut good. trip. Can we say something, though? No one knows this. The Atesta wasn't working, so I was like, we, we, we scrambled. We figured out a really weird secret. It worked. We went out, as soon as we did a 2-3, he was in the passenger seat, I looked over and I'm like, you got this, like, yeah, this we, car fucks. We have, our all-wheel drive, all drive system has not been working and we literally fixed it, literally off camera, right before we went Man, out. Two minutes, we were supposed to, we were late to come here yeah. because we were doing that. So, it rips, it's fast as fuck. It's so good. Look at that, look at that. Damn, and with that right there, ladies and gentlemen, complete success, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Let's take this thing home. Can't wait to show all the boys. They're gonna be so stoked. Everyone's texting me asking how it's doing. The series is not over, but man, we're really riding the high right now. Adam, I love you. I know you're gonna come back and you're gonna build a crazier setup and you're gonna beat me. But again, this was never about the winner. It was never about that. That was a fun side quest, but it was never about that. What matters is the car that I've always wanted, the car that I've sought after, the car that I've, like, I just, that car means the world to me. I don't really think I can put a dollar amount on that car. And I think that you guys can see that through all the videos of how um, special it was to just not rush it, take our time. And I appreciate everyone watching the vlogs and watching and commenting and coming on Instagram. Yeah, man, super stoked. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. And keep moving forward.
fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is what I'll say. Whatever he did made his car faster. I'm... You mean putting a passenger in your car? No, I really don't think that helps. By the rules of drag race, what do you weigh? 140? 160. Like that is good for, a what, a tenth? Yeah, yeah. But, you, but you also have... And it's not like you were putting like a huge gap on me. That plus shift, dude, I saved 0.2 seconds on every shift. This is what I'll say. I will call driver mod on myself. Adam, I told you when, that. When it, you I, got that drag race. Yeah, when, he's done I, it. I'll when when we started, from a dig, it became way when, more. Apparent. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, we, when, when we went to like higher speed to accommodate Adam's gearbox, and I was doing brake boosting in third, I was just dropping the ball. I was dropping the ball. I would be curious even for you two yeah. to take it tomorrow night. And Tommy, you try it because when I was letting off in third gear, it would like hesitate, hesitate, and then it would go, and then I would match your pace. But when I and even when I was calling the horn, Adam would still like immediately. It was just like whoop. And then I was like playing on, I was on his taillight. Right. His car's fast, right, both, right, rightfully so. Like dead even. I think your cars I feel like are... if you, I feel like if you drove it back to back and did a draggy, I, I would be shocked if they weren't within like a they're, they're couple just tenths of a second. Optimal scenarios, one is gonna take the other. They're yeah. too close and too different. It is what it is. I think it's really cool how well his car works with the 355s. Yeah, it works really well. Because I would prefer to have 355s if I had a power band like that. Right. So I might consider I was gonna say, not going that, 411s. That wasn't that bad. And, no. I, and now I'm like, after driving with Adam, I'm like, I don't know if I'd want a 411. That, I think fine. of the 355s because he, has, fine. because he has a 2.8 two and a, the tiny turbos. Yeah. If you had a bigger turbo or if like you didn't have a 2.8, I think you need it more. But like, even with my setup, I consider sometimes like, I think a 3.7 would be perfect in my car. Yeah. Tomei made a 369 final drive, front and rear. I own the wall. I bought the wall. You own the mall. No, oh, I don't. Really I don't. Like, yeah, Tomei made this really rare one. It used to be a grand. I own the mall. Three grand, you I could have it. Did. All right, we're tired as hell, man. Yeah. This video is supposed to end an hour ago. Can I in my car on the way back? Can we, will that work I out? Don't want, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let Anthony drive my car really? back. Really? That's fucked up. Uh, would no you, oh, way. I wanna just put this dude on blast. Would you put let Colette or him drive first? Oh, it's an easy answer. I would let Colette drive yeah, first. Oh, I thought, I, I would thought. Let, I would let Colette Damn. drive it too. This is the most expensive car I own. He's never driven right hand drive. It's yeah, in the I, dark. Actually, he doesn't never, know the roads. I've never driven right hand drive. No shot. During the day, it'd be a little bit different story. Sorry, you guys went into a okay. couple of those runs, into those like sweepers, like yeah, hot. Did we? No. <laughs> yeah. We were, oh yeah, uh, hot. I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> he goes, did we? I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, I are we had to catch our flight in eight hours. Thank you guys for watching. Good job, Adam. That was a lot of fun. Great, gonna... great car. Very good car. Better than I expected. No, I'm hyped. And we had some fun. I was, I was humiliated at dinner, but I'm glad we ended the <laughs> night with, with a little bit it? of showing. Who gets to say it? Say what? You know. Oh, you know. peace out. And oh, keep no, moving no, no, slightly no. behind Adam LZ. <laughs> <laughs> we already ended the video. This is in the bloopies, baby. Oh, okay. okay.